it cost local taxpayers. Good evening, I'm Alice Davis. And I'm Paul Butler. This is WBOC News at 7. The dredging project we're talking about will deepen the shipping channel from the mouth of the Delaware Bay all the way up to the Port of Philadelphia and will get started along the Sussex County coast at a cost of $63 million. Now, Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kozloff joins us live now in Chopper 16. And Evan, you got a great view of the work site and more on the cost to get this done. We're talking about a 17 mile stretch and take a look down below here from Chopper 16. There you can see one of those shipping vessels and the plan is all about deepening this waterway so they can get in and out more easily. But that project could also mean some benefits for one local beach as well. Not by the tail. Jim Bailey in charge of the local preservation association is an expert on all things Broadkill. But he says these waves are slowly but surely eating away at the beach's coastline. Situation now, we, we do have uh, properties that are at risk. At low tide, the distance between the water and the homes is already a short distance. But if you walk all the way over here, this is the line for the high tide. And that's even shorter between the water and the homes. But now he says these homes are getting some relief. The Army Corps of Engineers plan to dredge across more than 102 miles from the Port of Philadelphia all the way down here off of Sussex County. And this week, the Corps of Engineers signed contract number seven. Starting this September, a New Jersey firm will move 1.9 million cubic yards of sand from the middle of the channel to Broadkill Beach. Deepening the 17 mile stretch could take as much as 19 months to finish. We've been kind of hoping for this project for a very long time. And now that it's going to uh, actually uh, come to fruition. Uh, everybody here is just dancing, happy, you know, delighted, and just waiting to see it happen. Praying that we don't get a hurricane or a major nor'easter before then and now. Could be. But some, such as fisherman Ken Cunningham, say helping the beach is just a very small piece of the puzzle. He says the commercial benefits are far larger. We've got to have what's on the ship getting into the port. Channel gets too shallow, we're going to have a problem. So we all know how that works. Others, such as Matt Kinnamon, enjoy the beach, but say they're taken aback by the high price tag. $63 million, I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of change here. You're dumping sand, but I guess if it needs done, it needs done. For now, waves keep crashing as more sand is on the way. And back up here in Chopper 16, you're taking a live look at Broadkill Beach from overhead. Obviously, this shows just how close the water comes to some of these homes, and neighbors hope that this replenishment project can offer some relief in Sussex County. From Chopper 16, this is Evan Kozloff, WVOC News over Broadkill Beach.